What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So Comic-Con is off to a very good start for us horror fans as we just got some exciting news on what we can expect. Some more stuff we can expect in October along with the Chucky TV series, Jeepers Creepers Reborn, for those of you who care, Halloween Kills. We now know that we'll be getting the I Know What You Did Last Summer Amazon TV series in the month of October. It'll be premiering this later, later this year in the fall. And this was revered revealed during amazon's comic-con at home panel where the showrunner sarah goodman shared some exciting tidbits about the show and just went over her excitement for it and yeah she pretty much just was describing some of the things that we have to look forward to and just went into a whole tirade about how the movie was a product of its time this tv series is a product of its time just to go over some of the things she said she said that the series is real it's dysfunctional and it's completely unpredictable while also promising that it's packed with drama a lot of blood of course <laughs> violence and psychological stuff as well she also went on to say there will be blood also i've put little easter eggs throughout the season for those diehard fans but you absolutely do not have to need don't have to have seen the movie or anything else to be a fan of this show there are eight episodes to explore these characters who are not just running from a stalker they are also having relationships and having issues with their families and they are dealing with their effing lives there's more than just the mystery of who's after them it's very much a mystery of who they really are so what i really like about this is how she's making it a point to say that the characters are going to be hopefully people that we can of course grow attached to we're going to see all these different aspects of these people that are going to of course play a part in the tragic events that happen during uh, one of their nights as a senior seniors in high school that lead to them of course following the same footsteps as the people we saw in the film series with jennifer love hewitt and sarah michelle geller and freddie prince jr and I know we're, I'm already going to get the, the people in the comment section. I'm right there with you. <laughs> Helen should have lived over Julie. Julie was kind of, in my opinion, the wrong person to put as the final girl. Given the circumstances that we saw surrounding Helen and given that Sarah Michelle Gellar had one of the absolute best chase scenes in horror history or in horror at the time for the 90s. Anyway, definitely, definitely one of the best horror chase sequences in the 90s in that little sequence that she had where she unfortunately did not make it out alive that many of us are still upset about today <laughs> so i like that she's putting emphasis on the fact that these characters will be people we will hopefully get to learn a lot about get to understand where they're coming from as it relates to the tragic things that they're unfortunately going to get caught up with as it relates to of course killing someone the cast that this series will include is including the likes of madison eisman brianne I'm not even going to try to pronounce her last name, but I believe this this actress is from the Scream TV series as well. Ezekiel Goodman, Ashley Moore, Sebastian Amoruso, uh, Fiona Reen, Cassie Beck, Brooke Bloom, Sonia Balmores, and Bill Heck. So it says here, I know what you did last summer is a modern take on the 1997 film that honors the same chilling premise in a town full of secrets. A group of teenagers are stopped by a mysterious killer a year after a fatal accident on their graduation night so we know it also says here that craig mcneil who is it, he, he's had credits with like the likes of the chilling adventures of sabrina the boy channel zero and he's going to be directing the show's pilot episode this again just like the movie is based on the 1973 novel by lois duncan so james wan is also going to be one of the producers or it's produced by james wan this tv series has the potential to be something great especially for us horror fans if they put enough attention to giving us well-developed characters and showing us so many different perspectives which i think is also one of the things they touched on during this panel over the course of what happened during that night where they presumably killed someone we'll get to see different perspectives from everyone involved with that incident and what i like about that is they're not going to have what happened that night dragged out and ignored over the course of the season. That's the way they're making it seem. They're making it seem like we're not going to have this mystery of what happened that night dragged out over the course of multiple seasons until we get concrete answers. And I'm just throwing jabs at Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> but 
I'm really excited about it. I'm a fan of I Know What You Did Last Summer. I am a fan of I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. Do I think they are some of the best horror films out there? Not necessarily. But they are some of my favorites. I love those movies. Uh, I think the biggest mistake in those movies was letting Julie be the final girl. I'm just being honest. I, I know a lot of you can go on and on in the comment section about it. I, I'll try to probably do a video about that and go over some, some reasons why Julie should not have been the final girl. And it's not necessarily to say that Jennifer Love Hewitt was doing a bad job as her performance goes. It's just that the circumstances surrounding Helen, such as like some of the stuff that we see Helen going through or what it seems like she's going through at home, it would have been nice to see something like that fleshed out a little bit more. And she just seemed more sympathetic compared to Julie at times throughout the film. But again, I'll save that for another video. We know that the series is going to be eight episodes, plenty of time for them to flesh out these characters, flesh out this tragic event that occurs on their graduation night. Very tragic to have that happen, of course, on your graduation night. It's supposed to be one of the best nights of your life. And here you are killing someone, hopefully unintentionally. Because again, they could switch things up and this could be an intentional murder. I don't think that'll be the case, obviously, uh, since they're going to try to cover it up, presumably. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see if the fisherman is is the look that they go after, I guess, or the look that they'll have. I'm curious to see, yes, if they'll keep the signature look if this is a fisherman. Because again, it could be just something, something else. And it just happened to be called I Know What You Did Last Summer is based on the novel and they won't keep the fisherman look. I know a lot of us would probably like to see the fisherman look, but if they abandon the fisherman look, it's not the end of the world. Just give us something that's, that's of course, better than I'll always know what you did last summer, which shouldn't be too hard to accomplish there. That, that movie is completely abysmal from start to finish, writing wise, acting wise. They got some good people in there who've given better performances in their career and they're just like, not doing anything here they're very stale but again i can go on and on about this franchise in a whole separate video i just wanted to talk about the tv series real quick and hear what your guys's opinions are about this down in the comment section will you be tuning in are you looking forward to this tv series later this october if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification in this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video